Hi, this is Katie Mazzocco of FullSpectrumProductivity.com, where I help you to be more productive in your business and life. In today's weekly productivity organizing strategy, I'm going to be sharing with you the best password manager. We all have loads of passwords that it's so hard to keep track of, whether it's banking and uh, social media, all these online things where we need usernames and passwords and secret questions and their answers. Today, I'm going to be, the application I'm going to be sharing with you is wonderful because it syncs things seamlessly, it's super safe, and you can use it on a Mac, a PC, a smartphone, it's got you covered. And the following screen flows that I'm going to be creating where I'm actually going to show you the inside of my application on my computer, I'm going to be showing you how it works, the features it has, and why I love it so much. And here we are. I'm going to do a screen flow of the ins and outs of 1Password, my favorite password manager program. So this is the login screen for 1Password. I think security is really important, especially in the day and age of identity theft and all the things that go on with that these days. You can see that it's secure like a vault. In order to get to any of your passwords, you have to know what your password is and type it into this box. So I'm going to type in mine now. Let's see if I typed it right. Just as a warning, as I get started here, the interfaces will be a little bit different on everything. I'm on my Mac right now. The interface for 1Password looks a little bit different on my iPhone, a little different on my iPad, and I've seen it on PCs, it looks a little different there as well. So this section, logins, is really where the action happens for me. I use the other section, but this is what I use the most. It's the area where you store your information for each login account you have. So as you can see, I have all of these different login accounts. All of these things are, are storing a username, a password, and sometimes questions and answers and other tips for getting into it. I've created this as an example, 111 service, to show you what an actual record looks like within the logins. Here we have www.111service.com. I don't know if that's a real website, don't click on it. <laughs> I made that up so it would show up at the top of the list here. Um, you can see it has the username Wendy LOL. I haven't generated a password yet because I wanted to show you this. This program generates passwords that people who are trying to hack in your system have a harder time to get into. So if you click generate you'll see that you can choose how many characters you want your password to be and it te it's telling you right here whether it's good, bad, or great. And then you can also choose how many digits, numeric digits you want it to have and whether or not you want it to have any symbols and how many you want it to have. This is great because when you are creating passwords online. Sometimes they have different stipulations and this allows you to work within those confines. So I like this password and I'm just going to hit save. So now my password is here safely guarded. If we scroll down I've entered some example questions and answers so that I can look at this and know how to answer security questions when they come up. So now everything I need is in there and I'll show you in just a little bit how easy it is to use in your web browser. This is where 1Password saves you even more time. It's amazing. So instead of having to search for all your little pieces of paper or log into the large 1Password vault that's the actual application on your computer and then look up your password and type it out and look back and forth to make sure you typed it right, all you have to do is go up in your web browser, click 1Password, log in, hit enter, and Asana pops right up. This is what the interface looks like in your web browser. So I'm going to click Asana and click login and I'm finished. That's how easy it is. Now the great thing about all of this is that the same goes for credit cards. If I had been on a screen where I needed to enter my credit card information, I could just choose one of these credit cards, click it, it auto populates and I'm done. The same with identity. If I'm on a page where I need to fill out my name, email address, address and phone number, I can just click one of these, it'll auto-populate and I'll be finished. 
So it saves a lot of time and it also keeps things secure. I love it. I hope that you've liked the video. If you did, like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and feel free in the comments below to share with me whether you use this app or if you have another application for password protection and management that you use. I'd love to hear it. I invite you to stop on over to my website, fullspectrumproductivity.com, where I have a free gift for you, the five secrets to finding relief from clutter for good. This has been Katie Mazzacco of fullspectrumproductivity.com, hoping that you have a beautiful week. Keep thriving. Bye.